Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Vendetta, the Vendetta continues. So, completing an online Vendetta rewards you with a Vendetta loot chest. In addition to Spoils of War for you and the player you avenged, you can view and open your chest in the garrison section of the market. You can also earn pieces of Vendetta Legendary gear set by fulfilling special conditions during online Vendettes. Be these conditions in the guide. Alright. So, we got... So, I was obtained the Sword of Vengeance for that quest. A level 10 item. Uh, use an execution to kill an online Vendetta target at least level 20. Okay, well, to do that next time we go for the Vendetta, which... Uh, I will give up the poison right now, which has been pretty useful. One more melee attack isn't too great right now. Um, next time we do an online Vendetta, we will grab the Blades upgrade. So, melee damage is dealt. Dealt is increased by 16% when the, when the health is below 35%. Six might gain when striking a dazed captain though okay so even more focus on just assassinations not bad okay uh performing attacks requiring might by consuming 40 percent of your max health instead that's risky and if you have no elf shot you can pre perform range attacks by consuming 25 percent of your max health you know i do forget when i'm out of ammo so that could actually kill me if i'm not too careful so hold off for now all i'm vendetta i can't do another one can i oh Actually, could if we want to just keep farming up this. Hmm. Guess I really wanted stuff. I could do that. They're level ten, so it's not really worth it right now for us. Let's go back, and then we w we can. Ooh, we will actually be going into here. Draw out war chiefs by killing waves of enemies for the massacre. And the uh, lost artifact on the top of the castle. Yeah, we're gonna be. Let's circle back around here real quick, and then we will definitely get back into here. To assault this, because I want to, I definitely want to take that out. Uh, the area is still level 124, despite us doing stuff. I think a lot of stuff is barred for me right now until I get to Act Two. So, ooh. no, thank you. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You. It's a high-speed murder bite. Do do do. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I won't be in the area for much longer, so we'll just keep running by. I don't need to play too stealthily. Kaka, kaka. Fuin. Woo! That hurt. Biggest hitch of my life. Alright. Shield so memory up this way. Whoa! Really? Nope. No, didn't. Hey guys, I do need to get the fire elven shot ability for the fire pits. It's we should return to Shilob. She can help us. We share so many options. But she is not our ally. Yeah. Nice piece of advice. Not everyone is out to get you. They're usually out, out for themselves. So if you can find out what they want, find a middle ground of it, helps out quite a bit. What am I doing? I'm thinking of helping quite a bit. Alright. I chose the form of a spider because I wanted to walk the web of fate. To weave its strands. The Dark Lord chose something else. He chose a shell of cold. Shell of cold. So he chose his form? I mean, he... Built his armor, so I guess that's a way of choosing your form. Kind of like how we choose how we look with our armor. A little bit. So now we go for the upgrades. I haven't got, got the frost one up. I'm gonna go for all the ice abilities. What does this one do? Elven light also sets enemies on fire. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Also, AOE control and enemies that are weak, weak to fire, we can definitely use. I will need to be careful because if they're strong against fire, they get enraged off of it. I would want to avoid that. Let's grab the last of the Illidin up here. And storm a castle. What's that over there? Oh, they being treated. Look at that guy. Oop. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Hey, buddy. Warp. Take out the wrong dude. Alright. 
Huh, we could actually just destroy the outpost if I wanted to by Oh how they love the darkness. Doing that Soon mission. they will drown in my light. It's funny how inherent how normally light is always like te te technically the good guy, light and darkness is the bad guy. Too much of one thing is usually a bad is usually not great. Kinda like politics. Hmm. Yeah, that's a can of worms I just opened there. Let's go back to murder. Murder is so simple. That's another can of worms I opened. Carl. Carl. Nice place. Okay, next on the list will be the statue in this area. I could have done it during the mission, but I was a little bit concerned. Make sure if I get caught, I don't have any archers after me. What was that? There's still many beasties I don't know about yet. And down. There we go. Yeah, that's a new enemy type. I'd rather not go after that yet. Think they noticed? Yep, they noticed. Pass. Next on the list is the loot over here. Now we are in like a heavily fortified outpost, so I do need to be wary of extra captains lurking around. Whoa! Oh, perfect. This artifact, a chunk of moonstone, was our last acquisition before the orcs came. A scout found it still smoldering out in the fields where it fell to earth from the moon overhead. I am far from superstitious. But even I wonder whether this bit of fallen moonstone was meant to serve as an ill omen for the disaster that followed. I mean, anything could be technically an ill omen for something that followed. Hi! Let's go pick this up. An ill omen from the skies. Mina Seafield was doomed long before this moonstone fell to earth. Ah! Uh, hold still. There we go. Just gotta tap him a little bit. Uh oh. Ranger lies. He is flying, but no wings. He has taken a gift, not been given it. This debt must be settled. Cough. You can be killed instantly if I use fire. That's all I need to know. I got plenty of fire in the area. This is a tribe we've seen before. We have we know they have the ability to teleport. Which is not great for us. Thank you for the loot. Our final one in the area is oh wait, nine out kind of eleven. Oh! First one we we found found actually. Shake the grave wall back. He's not so fast. I'm uh, pretty fast. Hold still, please. There we go. Oh. And now we're in the inner areas. Whew. I'm so glad we got this. This would take me forever to get up. I know it's not up here, but I just want to see the view. Hmm, not bad. This was like a boss fight area if I ever saw one. Can I grab it? Thank you. Some orcs are self-styled marauders who crave riches more than other orcs. Greed, not bloodlust, motivates them, 
and unlike most other orcs, they wear jewelry such as this ring to mark their status. We obtain this ring from a dead marauder, so we've no idea of its history, though it seems Numenorian. If only we knew where the marauders find treasures like this ring. There's so much we could learn. Yeah, I mean, they take all they see, so there's, there's a lot to learn. Uh, okay. It's a rat, war chief, a little bit of XP there. Okay, this is the last one, so there's a waypoint, and we'll fast travel over here. Hit A, not X, so I don't fast, fast travel anything. Fast forwarding things is nice when I have to, well, of Numenor, and a well back to... One by the standards of men. I think he likes us That's very much, does he? Whoa. Here we go. It's easy to dismiss the orcs as brutish, but that demeanor masks a cunning and cruelty well suited for warfare. Their weapons likewise seem brutish, but make no mistake, they know their purpose. One sharp blow to the head will split your skull, whether it comes from Gondorian steel or orcish pig iron. Yeah, that would be brutal. Another skill point for us. Okay, I found everything I need to in the area. So let's go check out the burrows, why don't we? I'm Mark. Oh, hmm. I, did, I forgot to take out the monument, didn't I? That troll's not available. They're in the area. Let's flee real quick, and then we will grab that area. Whoa. Okay. Now can I fast travel? Yes. There's gonna be a skill, extra skill as well over here. Amadet is still available. Good character. What's what my upgrade gonna be now? Um, <sighs> quick throw. They do have a chance of doing critical strikes. Oh, shadow strike into a fire pit, detonating and lighting nearby enemies on fire. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Seeing all this fire around, I can't use it. Hmm. There we go. Up this way, hopefully no one sees us on the way up here. And this will be the last statue. Can I get someone, someone to do the calculations on just how strong that axe would have to be to break through that not much stone? Whatever it's filled up with. They're triggering the alarm. That's fine. We got our own little way to go back into. Hi. We now have another door. But not another quest. Okay. Hmm. All right, uh, let's do a bit of poetry. When the sun rises, the shadows must retreat, fleeing in fear from the fires of dawn. Hmm. The blank never knew that its end was fleet. The knight never knew that its end was fleet. As a bright lord bears. Okay, I can't say f not fires a flame. Marching knight shines a flame. That doesn't sound right. The the sun rises, yes, but from the west it beckons. Yeah. Let's just... Oh, there we go. Whew. <sighs> Take a little bit of that one. 
the sun rises, the shadows must retreat, fleeing in fear from the fires of dawn. The night never knew that its end was fleet, as a bright lord bears beacons of flame. The sun rises, yes, but from the west it shines, marching air eastward, air eternal, air bright. Yes. Right Lord's Cloak. Okay, recruit beast spin does level 20 or higher, can't do that. I do gain wrath when killing frozen enemies, and I gain six focus per kill. Well that's definitely nice to grab. There we go. A lot of the gear looks better when you upgrade it. Something else down here for me to do. Is that pretty much everything? Well, minus getting up the war, the war sheet, but I don't have to worry about that yet for a while because I can't unlock any of them. So let's set a waypoint here, and we will fast travel from here. <laughs> we should return to Minas Ethel. The battle will not be won on the front lines alone. <clears throat> All right. So I did do this mission when we got the crash, so I'll be just going through again a little bit. It's cool. It does remind me a bit of the, um, well, I said I won't spoil it for you, Willie. Yeah, there's no way I want to be anywhere near that fight. What was that noise? No Man's Land. The Orc Army is launching an attack on Sith Ungol. Join Baranor and take the fight to Mordor. Well, XP, quite a bit of money. Should I? Baranor. You can't have run out of Orcs in the city. There are a few left, but we're hunting one in particular. The last bodyguard of the war chief leading the siege. War chiefs are very powerful orcs who are often guarded by captains. Understanding who guards a war chief and hunting them down first makes defe defeating the war chief much easier. The menu shows you the which captains guard the war chief. Let's go, go to the army menu. So we have a dark destroyer, level 12, Hort the Hotless. That's a little uh, crown above him for him being a war chief. War chief in this, re in this region are the leaders of the orc army. By selecting a war chief, you can see his bodyguards. Hunt and defeat a bodyguard's a war chief's bodyguard b by confronting the war chief himself to make defeating him easier. Help Baranor hunt and kill this bodyguard. I think we're after the same orc, and the way to a war chief is through his bodyguards. You sound like you've had some experience in this. While I'm undetected, I can command an ally or my summoned bodyguard to kill a nearby target. Aim at the enemy and push the right bumper. My bumper, that'd be like the D pad. This is your ally to attack him. I've heard enough. I'll follow your lead. Spiders are everywhere. This reminds me of the old. I'm old school. This reminds me of the old. Call of Duty with that. Uh, like, run with Captain Price through here. Take the shot. Kill this one. Kill that one. Alright. You have to, to go to that one. I'll go after it. This is evil. Oh, a lot of red drops now for the money. Maybe a little bit helps. Get that one if you can. Nice. What do we got here? There we go. A couple tracks. I heard nothing. Did you hear anything? Join your fallen brothers. Nice. He has some daggers on him, which are probably quite effective. Okay. Help our buddy a little bit. Here we go. Showed us why he's why he's what? Oh, there you go. Take the shot. Up. Huh? 
If I had the chance, I would definitely want to see the uh, Overlord's abilities. Okay, get that one over for the one on the left. Where's he at? Guess he was. Oh, he's down below, so he can't actually follow me. Well. He might be eliminated as pathfinding. Nope, heard nothing. What do you know? That's a pretty good kill streak so far. 20, 20, 22, 23. No, no, no! Oh, God. Woo! Take it You big dog! Oh, cleaved. Norskos falling! Gone. That was a little quick. <laughs> I almost feel sorry for the war chief we're hunting. Nice blade. He'll be lonely Perfect. without his bodyguards. He'll join them soon enough. Oh yeah. That's a good point. We did get the stealth kills for another red gym. All right, orc leadership. The war chiefs. I've seen as Ungol are leading the orcs forces against Minith Uth. That's leaders, the armies of the Dark Lord will be in disarray. Draw out and defeat the war chiefs by undertaking confrontation missions. Soldiers from Minute Ethel have been sent to help you defeat the war chiefs. Push the, push the uh, right D pad to call the Gunder and follow to my side to help out. The war chief Baranor seeks is just one of many, and they will continue their hunt. Okay, where's the confrontation mission? Is it here? Hmm. Oh, I need to actually return to Sheila before I can do that. Noted. Draw war chiefs by killing ways of enemies. We do have the rat thing still. Hmm. Attacks on Minas Ethel. Mm -hmm. Then our path is clear. We have to kill them all. And we'll need help from the Gondorians to do it. Yep. Alright guys, I'm going to return back to Sheila. But I will see you guys in the next one. If you guys liked the video, please consider liking the video. Subscribe to the channel down below, guys. It does help us out a great deal. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.